Here I go. Oh, Ariel Rooster, let's go. Oh, what's this? What the fuck is this visual? Hello, this is Monkey D. Rai, and this will be my reaction to Blue Lock chapter 112, 112 called Big Stage. Okay, U20 Japan National Team, chapter 112, Big Stage. 15 minutes before the match, the all important match is finally about to start. Challenge the U20. Okay, okay. So, this is the prelude. Oh no, the other parts are already. Well, maybe they are the pre arc. So, yes, this is the true prelude to the match. So, 15 minutes before the match, the all important match is finally about to start. Challenge the U20. On that day, I was strangely calm. Blue Log 11, Isagi Yuichi. Check it out, Isagi. Does it suit me? Oh, everyone's looking clean. Oh, looking good. It's weird that this is our first time wearing a blue lock uniform. Yup, I say it's about time. We're just really playing against the U20. We've, we, uh, we're really playing against the U20, okay. We've come, we've all come crazy far, but today won't be the end. In fact, we're just getting started. True, true, true. Ahem, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, it's Ego. Hello, all. I'm running a bit late. I've been mulling over un this until the very last moment, but I've decided which players will be on the bench. So we're allowed three substitutions. Do not allow your guard down during the match and be ready to join in at the moment's notice. Oh, okay. So who's the in the bench? Okay, we've got Raichi, Mikage. Ah, it's Rayo. We've got Baru, Takmitsu, Corona. Hiyori, oh, we have got Hiyori as well. Nanase, oh, nice. Sarah, I don't know. Sarah. Hiragi, okay. Ishikari, I guess that's the tall dude. Ah, Tsurugi. Tsurugi is the explosive dude. Ah, oh, yeah, the explosively fast dude. And Igarashi. Damn, even Igarashi managed to make it, make it. Now, in the past two weeks, with the sole goal of winning this match, you have all succeeded in coming together as a team. The world does not yet know you. Is this not the ultimate stage? Okay. In these coming 90 minutes, change your fates. We're winning this blue lock. Today, you will carve your egos into the world. Hell yeah! Sure, Roger. Whew. Whew. Oh my god. Even, even I'm nervous. Let's go to our fateful battle. Oh, oh the, the spread looks so amazing. The... the Damn, the author's art is so unbelievably good. That's them. Blue Lock. Oh, they're all here. These are the U20 Japan's 11. And that's Itoshi Sei. Even I'm getting excited. Yeah, hella hype. This doesn't feel half bad. I'm trembling with style. Oof. Are you the goalkeeper? Today's the first time I'm playing as one. <laughs> Let's go, Gagamaru. What? He hit the goalkeepers. What? This is the first time this guy is going to play as a goalkeeper? And Gagamaru is just being the purest guy in the in the pitch right now because it truly is his first time. Hmm. That Shido dude. Used to be on your team side, right? Sorry to say, but he won't be playing today. Well, we'll end this without letting you guys even score once. Damn. So best of luck, Blue Luck. Oh shit, this trash talk has already started even when before their entrance. Hmm, sure. If I lose, that'll be the end of my football career. It's only because of everything I've managed to live through that right now I am standing on the stage. <gasps> oh the art! And you can even feel the intensity of the screams and the cheers. Oh my god. Oh my god. The art is so good. Japan. Japan. Itoshi say. Japan. Japan. Itoshi say. Okay, I, I, I just made that on the spot, but that sounded legit though. Oh, it's it's gonna be Nippon, right? Because that's how Japan addresses their own country. Nippon. Nippon. Itoshi say. Nippon. 
Are you watching Japan? A match for a for the ages is about to begin. The main the stadium's absolutely packed. What do you think of this, Natsuki san? What can I say? It's absolutely nuts. What in the world is this? But I mean, Itoshi say is gonna play after all. The man the world has their sights on. Football commentator Natsuki Harutaro. Also, this guy is sportscaster Teriyasa Atsuo. Atsuto, Atsuto, Teriyasa Atsuto. And now here are the formations for both teams. As expected, Itoshi says the attacking middle fielder. Okay, okay. So, okay, basically the blue lock 11 is uh, just centered with Rin doing his thing. And we've got the the, the left and right wings with uh, Mikumi and Otoya. Uh, basically what... Ego already stated in the in the previous chapter. Hmm. Okay, the U twenty Japan team is okay. It looks very defense oriented, oriented as you might have expect from them. Okay, okay, pretty pretty decent if I say so myself. This match is brought to you directly from Blue Lock's main stadium. Oh, so it's in Blue Lock. Damn. Beginning, beginning soon with the kickoff. I really have come a long way to this amazing place. Oh my god, I'm so proud to, with my boy. My boy Isagi was just someone who was about to score in a regional match. But now he is here fighting against the nation's best under 20, bro. Long way, bro. The me before Blue Lock wouldn't have been able to imagine such a sight. In front of this immense crowd, how far will... I be able to fight. No, that's not it. It doesn't matter who else is there. Okay, you can feel it. The, the, the blood pumping, bro. Your heart palpitating. I need to focus on myself. I have to become immersed in this fight. Okay, so that is the main goal for this fight is to immerse yourself with that challenge-centered focus and attain that flow. Let's do this, Isagi. Lukewarm. Oh, We've got Rin getting some pep talk. Or are you getting nervous for dumbass? Ha! <laughs> it's called being excited. Okay, okay. U20 Japan national team versus Blue Lock 11. Let's go, Isagi. Yeah, the bout begins. I will change the world with my goals. Kick off! Mmm, okay, okay. Let's let's start, bro. Let's start. Okay, oh, uh, I'm barely under eight minutes. The time flew so slowly, so fast, but... Okay, I'm gonna continue on with chapter 113 then. Chapter 113, Cops and Robbers. Hmm, interesting name. The opponent's starting lineup doesn't include Shido. Why the hell not? Are they looking down on us? Maybe he didn't mix, mix too well over there either. Something like that. Don't worry about it. It doesn't change what you all have to do. Execute the plan, you unpolished gems. Rev the blue lock. Rev up the blue lock eleven. Kick off. Let's go. Damn, the perspective shots of this manga is just out of this world. That looks so good. I will change the world with my goals. Let's go, Isagi. Our offense is made up of me, Rin, and Nagi. The three of us will set up the foundation. In a central triangular formation. Okay, a, a pretty standard football technique, a football strategy. This particular formation is basically a 4 5 1 with Itoshi Rin at the center, at, at its lead. But this but this is only a 4 when we're defending. When we're on the offensive, the key player is at its core, Karasu Tabito, who will fall back and defend as a back three with other center backs. Oh, I see. Then the two sides will move up to make it the three six one. Oh, damn! That's an explosive formation that crowds the middle field. Okay, so they're going to take control of the middle field in order to take control of the flow of the battle. Okay, that's that's a really aggressive way of playing things, but that's to be expected with Blue Lock since all of them are just are basically strikers i mean they had 15 i mean 15 days um to adjust and adapt with other with their respective play styles but i guess 
But I think that's not enough to create a entire team dynamic so they'd still have to devour each other and create chemical reactions to elevate each other's place. So this is made precisely because this is a team formed of only triggers as a variable formation that allows for goals to be scored from everywhere. This is the super aggressive blue lock system. Oh, they've raised their numbers. We can't waste the moment in which the oh we can't waste the moment in which the opponent is still reacting to us. Go monster firing off. Okay, we're gonna start off with bachelor's dribbles. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You coming, kid? Got an issue with that? Oh, let's go. He's fast. Let's go. Bachelor is doing his dribbles. Okay, he's fast. A double touch feint. Here he comes. While well, maintaining top speed, he's turning ball. Here I go. Oh, aerial rooster. Let's go. Whoa, amazing. And then straight to the goal. Wrong. Not there. Not there. The only one linking up perfectly to my best moves is uh, Isagi with the off the ball movements. I knew it'd be you, Isagi. I love you, partner. Both the U20 team in this field will fall to the two of us. Okay, they're already cooking, bro. They're already cooking. We broke through. That was perfect, Bachira. I'm the one who believes in your dribbles the most. I can do this. Our football can break through even the U20 team. Are we gonna score? Are we gonna score already? Well, that would make a testament of how amazing um, Blue Lock is. Oh, what's this? What the fuck is this visual? It's a freaking... Damn, what is this? It's, it's a freaking python, bro. Damn. For real? Why is he here? No way, he could reach that? Damn, he, he jumped there. Fuck, this guy's physical abilities is out of this world. What was that just now? Did he see it coming? No, we broke through their defense and passed perfectly. Was it by prediction, by reacting, or don't tell me everything? The player's position, my speed, and even where the pass would land. He wasn't even marking me specifically. The only way to explain his movement is that he took in everything in a moment and reacted on reflex. Field of view, brains, physical ability. What kind of parameters does this guy have? This is the defender of the U20 Japan team, Captain Oliver IQ. Damn. So even Isagi is recognizing how strong this guy is. So, wait, how was it again? Field of view, brains, physical ability. So he's able to, he's got a wide range of field of view. That's to be expected for being a center. Uh, yeah, for a mid, uh, yeah, for a center back. And then he has brains to assess and analyze the the opponent team's um, plays and the physical ability to react to those plays. Okay, okay, this guy's a complete package for a defender. Did you know Blue Lock's jersey number 11? People often liken strikers as robbers and defenders as cops. Uh, okay, true, because they are, they steal goals and cops are basically defend the goal because, okay. I ain't letting no robber steal any goals. IQ, IQ, IQ. Oh, okay, he's there. Okay, so this guy is the IQ guy. Even though Bachira and I, I brought out our best place. He saw through it and shut us down in an instant. So this is how amazing the U20 team is. Oh, this'll be fun. I found the one I want to challenge. Oh, why don't you go ahead and try, officer? IQ will be the landmark. That leads me to float. You're gonna have to put me on a leash. Oh damn. That's kinda that's kinda salacious right there. Putting you on a leash like BDSM, bro. <laughs> oh, I might. If the enemy's powerful, devour them and win. Isagi is moving at full throttle throttle to surpass the U20. Okay. U20 arc is starting off strong, and I'm already excited to do uh to um read the next couple of chapters. So we've got a defensive oriented team versus an aggressive offense oriented team. How's this gonna play out? I'm positive Blue Lock is gonna win because if not, that means Blue Lock is gonna dissolve, and well, that'd be an interesting twist. How how we'd be able to. Mm, 
navigate through a series without blue lock but that still means that blue lock has made its um mark in the series hmm, i don't know could go either way because you know even even during the second selection second to third selection um we've got the the main characters isagi lost to rin so who knows who who will win in this one but and betting on blue lock because we've got him soggy we've got rin we've got everyone else here bro okay so that's all for chapters 112 and 113